Many of you asking me about different stuff, uh, builds, guides. Maybe I should I'll do a short explanation on a certain robot. So, if you, let's say, you are building the Fenrir. It's a great choice. It's a workshop robot and one of the many high level champion league they are running the Fenrir. And you don't know what to use on this thing. I will tell you exactly how to maximize the potential of the Fenrir. I am usually what I like to run on the, my Fenrir is the new weapons, but I know. And when I'm saying the new weapons, I'm referring to the mace and the shotguns. So they are they have eye, eye burst damage and they go uh, close at close they good at close range. But I know these weapons they are not so affordable for everyone so we need some other weapons that they have close range weapon for the Fenrir and why the Fenrir is good with close range weapons because the Fenrir is a tank this robot is a robot that has resistance and I'm not talking about the pilot we are talking about only the Fenrir itself the Fenrir has resistance and he can absorb a lot of damage without all the other stuff that you can add to this thing. So this is why, in, in my opinion, you need to weapons that close range weapons like the new shotguns. I know, but for the workshop, you have the sonic weapons. <laughs> by 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 coincidence, we just popped up on the Skyros like a magic. <laughs> so. The sonic weapons, the flamers, the ember, the igniter, and um, the toxic weapons, they are also not on the workshop. I think the bane it is, I'm not sure. Let me check. Let me see. Okay, the bane, I, I don't see the bane, but the, on the workshop you have the sonic weapons and the flamers. The sonic weapons and the flamers, they are the best for the Fenrir, in my opinion. That they are doing a lot of damage. And they are close range weapons, like I said before. And yeah, maybe some of you will say that the explosive weapons, they are here. This is an option. And the nuclear on the quaker is also a good option. And calamity and <laughs> some of the players, they, I know some player that retired the game. But I know he's not a fan of the, these weapons on the Fenrir, but still. I think the weapons that I mentioned before, they are the best for the Fenrir. And now I'm we'll talk about the other stuff that you need to know about the Fenrir. How to make the Fenrir even stronger than what I said before. If you don't have the pilot, I rec recommend most highly to get this pilot. This pilot gives you 60% defense, uh, not defense, extra durability. It means this Fenrir is gonna be insane. And you don't have even to max it out. As soon as you get this pilot, you get the 60% already. You get extra 60% durability. And this is a lot. This is crazy. And if you cannot afford to level up all the pilot skills that I have here, I think that you should get the expert, armor expert, and the speed. It's so it's so comfortable that you have extra speed, especially if it's a tank. I like speed. I know personally I like speed. If you are using extra speed and durability on the Fenrir, there is nothing else that you need to ask. Now we talk about the modules. I, for the best that I like to run on the Fenrir is... Uh, to make it all around, all arounder, balanced unit, nuclear amplifier, repair amplifier, repair amplifier to get extra healing. And on the Fenrir is insane. I already did a video with the Fenrir. So many videos I posted with the Fenrir, and I use the best of the best usually. The best of the best that making the Fenrir to be insanely strong, even extremely powerful. Balanced unit, repair amplifier, nuclear amplifier. That's what I like to use. If you don't have these premium modules, you can use 
if you have heavy armor, use heavy armor for extra durability. But if you don't have heavy armor even, you can use the regular one. The, what's it called? The armor kit, three of them. Even if it's level one, it's 2%. If you have three of these things, you get 6%. six percent. But you always can use extra damage. But the Fenrir, remember that the Fenrir is, is a tank. You need extra durability. Now we will jump into the drone. What I'm using, the best drone that you should use on the Fenrir, in my opinion. That's the drone. This is the drone. The Nebula drone is the best one. The reason why you have here on the high damage fix. If you receive more than 100% damage within 3 seconds repairs a portion of its durability immediately it means this will turn the Fenrir to become almost <laughs> unkillable. I'm telling you even versus Titans almost every 5 seconds every 5 seconds it, it feels like even less than 5 seconds the cooldown you will get healing every time. And with these chips, only repair unit defense. You don't have to use the advanced repair that takes you more power cells. You can use even regular defense. The regular defense, it takes less power cells. So this is, if you have this, this, I know this is expensive, but you can also use the purple, the purple one and the blue one. It helps you, it help you. I'm telling you, this is really... I have on my baby account the Fenrir. I don't have the pilot, but I do have the Fenrir. And the Fenrir is one of the robots that every player, if you can have it, get the Fenrir. This is one of the workshop robots that you should get. I talked about it, about other robots, but the Fenrir is one of them. I basically told you, uh, uh, you see here I have suppression and stuff, but I'm talking about this special ability. If you get only the drone without all the chips, you get this thing by default, this uh, skill. It really helps you. The absorber shield, I have it. Of course, it's also helping the Fenrir to become crazy strong. It's almost the best thing you can run on the Fenrir. The nebula drone with resistance. So this is, you can say how I maximize the potential of the Fenrir. That's how what I'm doing, uh, personally. I'm running the new shotguns. There is an upcoming video about this thing, so it will be much easier for you to understand. I used all the things I said, the pilot, the nebula drone, the weapons, and the repair. If you like this idea, guys, tell me in the comments and the chat, you know, so I will know to do it more. And, of course, like. If you haven't smashed the like, do it. Of course, subscribe. It's important, guys. It's important. And I'm reminding you again about the giveaway. The Eldritch Capri giveaway is still open. Make sure to participate. And then, yeah, it's very important. Participate in this giveaway. Eldritch Capri, guys. You have a chance to win it, so do it. What are you waiting for? That was, you can say, a short explanation about the Fenrir. If you need to know more stuff, I can guide you. I'm playing this game more than seven years, almost eight years from the beginning. One of the veteran robots players. I can tell you exactly what you need to do in each and every one of the robots. How to maximize their potential. And this is why I'm here. To help you. That's why I'm doing it. And... Today I did it for the Fenrir. Next time we'll do some other stuff. Some other robot. This was the Fenrir. For today.